everybody it's Emmy Bree and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new hit that subscribe button down low so today I'm basically just going to be doing an updated tutorial on my everyday makeup look so I'm starting off with fresh clean skin and I'm just going to begin by priming my face and I'm gonna be using the ordinary um, high adherence silicone primer and this is this bottle got like super fucking gross i don't know why so this is just the ordinary and i'm just gonna put this all over my face so I just use a little dot so then i'm gonna be going in with my sephora green concealer and i'm just gonna be using my little mirror here so sorry if you guys see it and i just use this to cover up any redness so next I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible and this is in color 204, natural buff. So I'm just going to put some on my finger and dot it on my face. So for my next step I'm going to be using the Pro LA Girl Concealer and I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of this. I'm just going to be using this to highlight my face and I'm almost out of this but I do have another one which is good I always stack up on these but I might as well use the rest of it so I'm just gonna put this under my eye Let's see if I can squeeze more out of this thing <laughs> under my eye on my chin on my upper lip area down the bridge of my nose So next I'm going to bake my face and I'm going to be using the Airspun powder and I actually um, prefer it in the naturally neutral shade. So they do have a translucent one but for some odd reason it like makes my under eye darker opposed to like bright opposed to like brightening it. So I'm just going to use some of this powder and my damp beauty blender. I'm just going to tab it in there and just place it on my under eye as well as setting the top of my leg because I get a really big crease in there. I just bring it on the sides of my nose. After I put that powder on, I'm just going to go in with my um, shade and light brush by Kat Von D. I'm just going to go in with that powder again and just hit the T-zone. So on my forehead, down my nose and above my lip. So anywhere basically that I highlighted, I wanna hit with some translucent powder. So for my next step, I'm gonna be just doing my eyebrows and I'll fast forward this because I've done a ton of videos and my eyebrow routine has not changed for years. So all you need for my eyebrow routine is, this is the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow and I am in shade, oh gosh, what shade am I? Shade 15. I'm shade 15, which is like a nice ashy brown. And then all you need is a spoolie, and then I use my little angle brush. So these are my three bad boys that I use to do my brows. So I'm gonna try to do that like cool thing that YouTubers do where I just like snap my fingers and I've got brows on. So we'll see if I can do this. I don't know if that worked. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see when I edit, but I'm definitely keeping that in there, whether or not it is good or not. <laughs> So basically my next step is I'm going to start on my eyes, then I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. I'm just going to take my fluffy Morphe brush and dipping into my NYX bronzer, which is like my ride or die bronzer. I'm in shade medium. It's just this gorgeous matte bronzer. So I'm just going to dip into that and rub it in my crease. And I'm just trying to define my crease, but like not go crazy with it. And with using bronzer as eyeshadow, it's like my biggest tip for like a natural look because you know, it's nice and subtle and it just gives you some more dimension. So I'm just going to be rocking back and forth. So once I have that, I'm going to be going in with my smaller fluffy brush from Morphe. So this one's just a little bit smaller so I can really build up that crease. I'm going to be dipping into one of my favorite shades and this is from the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Modern Renaissance palette, which is like one of my favorite palettes to this day And I'm just going to be dipping into this um, Really pretty color called real gar and I'm just going to be building up my crease and this is like a nice 
again, someone's gonna kill me for this, but it's a terracotta color, which is the real color, I swear you guys. And it's like this gorgeous burnt orange, and I'm just going to be intensifying that crease. And I'm just going to go in with my Morphe fluffy brush again and just sort of soften this and make it a little softer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this little Eco Tools, bleh, Eco Tools brush. And it's just this short little brush. And I'm just going to use this to sort of um, define my underwater line. So I'm just using that bronzer again. And I'm just going to softly go right under my eye. This is just going to give my under eyes some more definition. So next, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be curling my lashes. I know this is kind of like out of um, order, but I have been loving, loving, loving. This is the um, Stila. This is, which one is this? Um, this is their Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. And one of my favorite YouTubers, Tati, she reviewed these. And like as soon as she reviewed them, I was like, I need these in my hand right now. So I ran and got this one. This is from, this is... Kitten Karma, and I'm obsessed with this, but it is gl like super glittery, and it gets all over my eyelash curler, and then I end up picking up some of the glitter, so I curl my eyelashes before I put it on. After that, I'm just going to go in with the Stila, um, and this is their liquid eyeshadow. This is in Kitten Karma. And I'm just going to draw a line across my lid on both sides like that, and then I'm just going to go in and pat it out with my finger. So I'm just going to kind of let it dry because it is like a liquid liquid so you gotta make sure it dries because it can transfer to like the top of your lid. As soon as that dries I'm just going to go back in with my bronzer and that smaller Morphe brush just to define that crease a little bit because I don't want any, you know, of the little glitter got up there. I'm going to be using the NYX contour palette. This is my ride or die palette if you guys can tell. It's like basically tin everywhere. Um, I really need to buy another one of these. And I'm just going to be taking, again, my Shade and Light Contour um, brush from Kat Von D. And I like to mix these two colors down here. And I'm just going to tap some extra. And I'm just going to start by carving out my cheekbones. Do a little bit starting at my temple and just working my way up. I already have sort of like a small forehead, so I don't like to like hardcore contour at my forehead because... It's already pretty small. I don't want to make it look any smaller. And then I'm just going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Again, I'm just going to go in with the same color. And for this, I want this to be a little lighter, so I'm just going to tap the excess product off. And I'm just going to go down my nose. And then I'm going to do the bottom of my nose. Uh, right there in between my lip. So now I'm going to go in with a similar Morphe brush and this one has a rounded edge opposed to this one that has a flat edge and I love to use this for baking because I can get a more precise bake. So I'm just going to be baking on the sides of my nose. So just to sharpen that contour and make your nose look even smaller, just like that. And then I love to pop some right here, right under that under eye and this just defines my cheekbone too without even highlight. So after that, I am just going to pop on a little bit of brow gel. This is just the e.l.f. Um, eyelash, eyelash, yeah, eyelash, eyelash and eyebrow gel, and I think it's the same gel, so I just use both sides because, like, why not? So I'm just going to pop some of this on my brow just to try to keep all those hairs. So now I'm going to go in with my ColourPop um, Duo palette, and this is just a blush and a highlight. You guys um, probably saw this in my like nectar review, um, and I'm just obsessed with this. Obviously, I'm like majorly seeing tin, um, and I'm just gonna be taking this nice Eco Tools um, blush brush. I'm just gonna dip into this and then start from the apples of my cheeks, working my way upward. And this is a really pretty color. It's like nice and warm. And then what I'm going to do is take this little fan brush and I'm just going to dip into that highlight. And I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones. So now I'm just going to be taking this Morphe brush and I'm going to be wiping away that bake. So if you guys can see just like how much 
more i love a severe contour so and then i'm gonna brush it off my nose take this smaller brush i have no idea where this brush is from but i love it for highlighting the nose i'm gonna dip into that same exact highlight and just dot on the front of my nose like that little tip of my nose and then i'm just gonna do a line and then I'm actually going to take some of that highlight and dip it into like the corners of my eyes. So next I am going to do winged eyeliner and I love winged eyeliner. So I just got this eyeliner and I think it is like a hundred trillion times better than the Kat Von D eyeliner which was my, which was like my ride or die. So I'm super excited about this. It's like four dollars. It's BH Cosmetics and um, yeah so I'm going to use this to do a winged eyeliner look. Sorry if I'm silent. I don't want to mess this up. was holding my breath that time. <laughs> so now I'm gonna let this set up before I put on any mascara. So I'm just gonna go in with my CoverGirl lip stain. After I put on the lip stain, I like to just have, you know, some sort of color on my lips. And I'm just gonna go in with this um, gel lip liner. And this is from Wet n Wild. And this is color 651B, bear to comment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, outline my lips. I'm not gonna like overdraw them too much. Uh, but I definitely want to enhance them a little bit. So next I'm going to go in with this lip plumper by, this is by NYX and this is their Pump It Up Plumper and I use shade Scarlet. But it doesn't sting at all, which is nice. And the like lip gloss stays on for a really long time. So once I have that on, I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Base. And this is just a fiber primer for my lashes. And I love this because I don't have to use my whole entire mascara tube to get good volume. I'm just going to apply this to my tops and bottoms of my lashes. So now I just have to wait for a few minutes to let this sort of set up and dry and then I can do my last coat of mascara on it. Hi Mr. Man. Let's see if we can get him to like getting brushed with a spoolie. <laughs> I think he likes it. And we're back and my lashes are dry so I'm just going to be going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara which is like my all time favorite mascara. I love this mascara so much so I'm just going to be putting mascara on the bottom and top lashes. We have enough setting spray. I would literally bathe in this stuff if I could. So there you have it. That is the final look. This is my everyday makeup tutorial. Obviously, you know, sometimes for work or for school, I'll like tone it down and like not do a full face. Um, but on a regular day, this is my everyday makeup look. And I hope I gave you guys some helpful tips. And I hope you guys really liked this video.